magnetism of melanins, meaning it's magnetic in many ways, in many different ways, right? So it kind of sounds like melanin pretty much is like the foundation of all. Whoa, wait, wait, all wait, life. Wait, 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 at some point, we're not even there yet. Hold on, partner. You jumping? You, you jumping? Shit. Hold on. <laughs> you getting it? You said, hold on. So now, <laughs> electrical characteristics. All black material are electroactive. <laughs> You see that? All black material are electroactive. Electroactive, meaning it conducts electricity. <laughs> kind of like what Dr. Sabi was saying in a nutshell, right? Like, right. Alkaline. Alkaline. Yep. That's exactly what alkaline means. So all black materials are electroactive. Conductivity is strongly increased by doping, meaning if you do something to it. Right, meaning, <clears throat> so if you add, you know, uh, for us, that would be, doping could be anything. Meditation, uh, supplements, you know, hydration, all of these things increases uh, the conductivity of your melanin. So these are, these are the, doping only means to do something to it. This means to, you know, so it don't even have to be tangible. Meditation would be? Yeah. yeah. Man. Your, uh, your melanin, first of all, your, your skin is the biggest organ you have. And so it's, uh, if, it's all, if, you're, if your outer skin is one giant radio, your thoughts are electrical signals and, and, and waves throughout the air. So how could you not connect to your melanin and increase, its, and increase its conductivity? That's what we always used to do. That's what meditation was for. But we used to get gangster with it and, get, you know, and do the supplements and eat right and had magnet, you know, we would eat things with magnesium, like you know, sunflower seeds and almonds and all these different things that increase our that increased our magnetic our magnetic uh, conductivity. So, conduct. Let me do that. So, conductivity is increased by doping. Electrical and sound conductivity show by <clears throat> show by melanins, and that should be shown by melanins, are of biological interest. Superconductivity may be present. Did y'all hear what that meant? No, what you, what you hear what it said. I'm going to explain what it means in a minute. But superconductivity may be present. So I want you to, so superconductivity. Do you know, anyone knows the difference between superconductivity and semiconductivity? No? I'll take a stab at it. Semi means half. Okay. And super sounds like it would be over, o overdoing it, so to speak. That would be my guess. It's on a, Basically. Okay. okay, let's give a little physics lesson. A little so energy. So there's something called uh you heard of Ohm's law. There's Ohm's law in physics means resistance. It's a, it's it's uh it's about how energy travels through a medium or electricity in in its sense travels through a certain medium, right? So an ohm means the amount of resistance that that energy or electricity meets while it's traveling through its medium. Okay, so an ohm in physics represents resistance. Like it's, so like um, <clears throat> literally, so if you have a wire, because the wire is so thin, if energy is moving through that wire, it constricts the energy flow, right? Of the, of the energy, so that's why the wire gets hot because the wire, while it's moving through its medium, it's losing energy because it has to, it has to try, it has to work so hard to move through the medium, right? So it's meeting resistance because of the very thin wire, the, the layers of the wire as it's moving through, it's getting squeezed together. So it loses energy along the way until it gets to its whatever point it's traveling to. So that's semi that's semiconductivity, right? Meaning when energy travels from one point to another, it loses energy along the way. It loses some type of energy because it meets resistance. Superconductivity means that there's no loss of energy from point A to point B when it's traveling, right? And so going back to semiconductivity, semiconductivity is finite. It ha it'll have a certain amount of time that it can conduct. Eventually, because it's meeting such resistance, the power will run out eventually. Superconductivity, when it flows from point A to point B, it's lossless energy. And the way it does that is because both point A and point B are 
vibrating or resonating at the same frequency, the exact frame, same frequency. So that means that the two, the energy that flows between the two is no loss because we are literally in harmony. All right. So that can be, that's anything that can be people that can, you know, that's animals. That's, you know, that's whatever, anything like that, that can be on that type of conductivity, meaning energy that flows between us, harmony, that's in relationships, that's everything, right? So there's semiconductivity, are we meeting resistance? You know, are we having, are we arguing? Or are we in a relationship where everything is pretty much harmonious? Harmonious, you know, we flow effortlessly. That's what superconductivity is, right? To flow effortlessly. And that's what we have the ability to do. We have the ability to literally transmit energy between us at a loss, at a lossless uh, amount forever. Just so you understand, superconductivity has no limit. 